Hello everybody, so today I'm doing a highly requested video. A lot of y'all wanted to see what was inside my backpack and I decided to throw in a, a new thing. I'm going to show you what's inside my white coat as well because I know a lot of y'all are interested in med school so I just thought that would be something fun to show you as well. Here is my backpack. I got it from Victoria's Secret. It has sequins on the front, it's black. It's professional as in it's not in loud colors, but it's got the sequin because you know, I gotta stand out a little bit. Let's start with the first pocket. Ugh. So basically my first pocket is just a whole bunch of pens because I am I use my pens like crazy. I can go through a pen in like one week. That's how much you write in med school. And then I have a sharpener. That's the front pocket. This is my, my little drink holder goes here and this is my, Starbucks cup. It's their new Valentine's Day edition and it's really, really cute. It's got a red straw and hearts. Keeps me hydrated and uh, energetic if I put coffee in it. Then here's the front pocket. So I have my Beats headphones. They're in rose gold and you need headphones. Like it's an absolute must in med school. Here's my MacBook charger. I have the MacBook, I think 13 inch. My pencil pouch where I keep my colored pens, colored pens are just, I absolutely need them. I can't live if I don't have them. So I have like every single color. I have a highlighter, lead, and a Sharpie, which you do need from time to time. So that's what's going on in my little pusheen pouch and my brother got me this a long time ago. I have my wallet. This is a Michael Kors wallet and it is so beautiful and shiny. Ugh, I'm so in love with it. <laughs> and inside I have my money and or my lack of money oh why is this in here i went to the dermatologist and i brought myself in blue because <laughs> i wanted him to know what shampoo i was using and this is what i use that is so weird <laughs> it has a little organizer and right here i have my calculator this is my t130x calculator you don't really need a graphing calculator for med school so just a scientific one will do in the next pocket i have my 24 colored pencils and I use this, I use this a lot when I was in anatomy, when we would draw structures. It makes your drawings beautiful, pretty, organized, and I don't know, it really gets you in the drawing process, so you're, you're more like involved in your studying. I got this from my A&M interview. I, I went to the A&M med school interview, and they gave me this. It's like, it's got sticky notes and tabs, and I keep it in here. And no, I don't go to A&M or I don't go to their med school, and I didn't go to their university. I went to UT for um, college. So yeah, I'm not, uh, not a big A&M fan. <laughs> this is my hat, because I live in Texas and it gets super sunny. This is my charger for my phone. So let's say I'm kind of out and I don't really have an outlet to use, but I really need to charge my phone. I use this and you just plug your USB cord from here into your phone and it charges it. And I got this from Claire's, I think. This is something that you're gonna use a lot in med school. I think I think a lot of them carry it, but I don't know if all of them do. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then, well, this is just like a USB drive. And this is what it looks like. It's big, clunky, connects to your computer. And in it are just random software. So for anatomy structures or histology, which is like you can see different tissues, like cancerous tissues or bloody tissues. There's just a whole bunch of programs in here that we need for med school. It's really, really important. And so I keep it in my backpack at all times because you need it like every week. The only thing I have else, I just have another charger and, um, oh, I don't know what this is. I need to throw this away. This is old. This is from Christmas. Ugh. Yeah. My backpack has a top pocket like above and that's where I keep my keys. It's super, super convenient because if I put my keys in any of these other pockets, they're gonna get lost in the pens and the books and the school supplies. So there's just like this top pocket so I can keep it in and never lose it. This is the major pocket. I have my MacBook. I love this MacBook. So my apps that I use are Microsoft Office. I have uh, PowerPoint, Word, Excel. I use iPhoto a lot. I use iMovie a lot because that's what I use to edit 
gonna be the videos that you watch. So iMovie right here. I think a lot of med schools use soft test and that's where you take all of your exams. And it's all in here. I take my notes on Microsoft Word, keep track of all of my volunteer hours on my Excel sheet in here. And I edit my YouTube videos on here. So this is like my life right here. And I bought this case from Etsy. You just, I don't, I think the company that made mine quit or something, but you can just Google glitter rose gold MacBook cases and they should have it still. And the rest of the big pocket, let's see, what is this? Oh, I'm in, I'm in a few classes. And these are some assignments. This is how we, um, we had a venipuncture lab where we took each other's blood. Like I took a classmate's blood. This is how we did it. And we found out our blood type and I'm O positive, which is like the most positive, I mean the most common blood type there is, I think. So yay for not being original. And then I have my five star book. It has all of my notes. So in my notebook I have, so these were the diseases that we had to learn. And that was, this was like for one midterm. Along with learning like regular classroom material, we also have to learn histopath. So I would have to look at this and say that's skeletal muscle, that's smooth muscle, that's cardiac muscle. Showing you a few things that you learn in med school. Other than that, my notes were concise in the beginning, but then I realized taking notes on in a notebook was really hard. My notes are now just, I take all of them on my laptop and now I just kind of scribble in here. Just scribble. It's not really notes, it's just I write it down enough time so that I remember what I was trying to say, but yeah, this is, I really need a new notebook. I've completely used up this one. In here, I think the last thing in here, I have a book. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm in med school, so I try not to read on the side because I already do enough reading, but I have this Dracula book. Look how awesome this Dracula book is. So that is my, that's my backpack. Let's go in my lunch box really quick. This is my lunch box, Vera Bradley. And I don't have any food in it, but I do have this thing that I bought from Amazon. And it has like little compartments. I just thought that it was really cool and worth sharing. It's from Amazon. Now we can talk about the white coat. Ooh, I love the white coat. It's so just official. Here's our school badge. Here's just random pins that I have. Here's my student badge. Ugh, like the worst picture of me ever is right there. And then we have uh, some code cards and they're stuck to this like string thing so because we have to do a lot of swiping through doors there's nothing in this pocket but in here whenever you take a history for a patient I volunteer at a clinic for women who are were drug addicts and so we don't have like a person who, who writes down everything that we say we have to do it up by ourselves and so uh, a lot of people who have a white coat also have a journal in here so that when we're taking histories from patients we can also like write down what they're saying and it's nice and pocket sized and I have some pens in here and then the last pocket I have my stethoscope this is this is everything guys this is just like ugh. so just so y'all know the stethoscope goes in the same direction as your nose so I made the mistake of putting it, m putting my stethoscope in this way. No, it goes in that way into your ears. And this is the bell at the end. And it flips around. Gold and turquoise. And then rainbow right here. And then it says my name engraved right there. And it's just so beautiful. And it's like synonymous with being a doctor so I don't know it's just so symbolic to me and I love it the other thing in my pocket right here another synonymous thing this is a reflex hammer and you use it to test your patient's reflexes and I can actually do re your reflexes pretty well so yeah I have that in there and then the last thing I have in here is another badge because badges are so important to get in anywhere. Also, if you're if you're doing a mock um, patient history, you have to have your badge on your white coat. And if I ever forget this, I have an extra badge in my pocket so that I won't get deducted any points. So yeah, guys, 
that is everything I carry in my backpack. That's everything I carry in my white coat. That's everything I carry in my lunchbox. You know everything now. Um, one more thing is in my phone, which is recording right now, I have this app called iStudies Pro. And iStudies Pro is like godsend. It's like a, it's a calendar app where you can put every class that you're in, when it starts, when it ends, your professor's email. You can email them from the app. And no, this isn't sponsored, by the way. I've had this app for literally like eight years. And you can put all your assignments in. So the day you get your syllabus in the first day of class, you put all your assignments in. I always turn in my assignments on time. And that's like half of being successful in school, just turning your assignments in on time. And that app is just amazing. And I just thought I'd throw that in there because I don't have a planner in my backpack because my planner's on my phone, which is a lot more convenient for me because I can email from my phone. I don't know, I'm just always on my phone anyway, so it, it works out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful or insightful and everything you wanted it to be. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.